Hi, yeah, it's Black Pride. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing through, you're welcome to subscribe or like. My return subscribers, thank you for checking in on me and checking out my views on Love Island again. So tonight we had Snog, Mary and Pie. Um, what a bloody palaver. It's interesting though because most women would think that to marry someone would be the most important thing. But when you think about Snog, Mary and Pie, personally, I'd be the same as the girls. I wouldn't want anybody else snogging my man. I'm sorry, I prefer him to marry someone else. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that worked out really well until Jess snogged um, Mike, which, yeah, it is a bit disrespectful because they are meant to be in a couple. But it's obvious that she don't give she doesn't give a toss about Luke M and um, it's a waste of time. So what's going to happen now? Oh, have you seen those six men and six women coming in? Problem. There's one in there that looks just like Mike, <laughs> and there's a girl in there that looks looks a bit like Leanne. Well, maybe she doesn't. I only saw a quick glance. Anyway, so we had the snog, marry, and pie. And I think Mike should have got more pies. And who else do I think should have got more pies? Rebecca. Well, I think they got enough pies anyway. But yeah, it was quite interesting. Um, I am going to jump a bit to the end because I'm really shocked that they kept in Rebecca and Mike. The t well, I mean, Mike is obviously playing a game. But that is the name of the game, isn't it? They're all playing a game. Maybe he will find love. Who knows? But it'd be very interesting. After Jess has ballsed it up with Luke M, one of those new girls comes in and he goes off with her. That's what's going to happen. I hope Jess finds someone else. She better find. She better match up with the other um, one, the other Mike lookalike. Otherwise, she is going to be in the doghouse. Honestly. But... It's all about going with your feelings, isn't it? And if you're not attracted to someone, what can you do? And that, that Luke M is such a cutie. I'd, I'm lost. Obviously, Mike has got the magnetic charm. Me looking in from the outside. It doesn't come over as genuine. It comes over as him trying to stay in the villa. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he does really like her. But, I don't know, it doesn't feel right. And then Shanice and um, Luke T had their first tiff. But you know what I don't understand? I don't understand how these women in the villa lay claim to the men so quickly. I mean, he was paired up with Rebecca. So what if he hugged her or spooned her? So what? What is there to talk about? What is there to discuss? Why would you want, why is he supposed to come and say to Shanice, oh well, I was sleeping with Rebecca and I did put my arm around her. I mean, get a life. It's different if they do it once you are coupled up. That is totally different. But before you're coupled up? I mean, please. It's not like he didn't like Rebecca. He was getting to know both of them. So why wouldn't he put his arm around her? And he's going to get pissed off at Shanice because she's coming on too bloody strong and she needs to let up. Otherwise, you know me, I already see it on shaky ground because the way he looked at her when he said, when he said to her, she keep, when he, I think he, I'm not sure if he said it to her or whether he said it in that little room that she shouted at him on a couple of occasions. He doesn't like it. And she better back off. Back off of my Luke T. Don't give him a hard time. Bloody hell, he's bloody gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, what else is there? Um, Jess, well, we know Jess has gone off of Luke. And Mike is... Don't you know, I think Mike is a totally different person now Leanne's out of the house? Out of the villa. I mean, Mike was this little demure, loving, tender man. Caring and nurturing. Leanne's gone out of the villa. 
and he's racing around looking after just running out of every time um luke m um, left left the room he's running over and giving um jess a kiss i mean who is he who's the real mike i don't get it but then again different women or different men well different women bring out different sides of different men and in men different women bring out a different side in men so maybe it's just that Jess brings out that playful side in him whereas Leanne she was a bit stiff and she brought out that kind of subdued side of him maybe that's the answer maybe it's something as simple as that they bring out different elements of your character um yeah and also spooning is a form of comfort i mean you know some people prefer to spoon and have bloody sex you know what i mean so i don't understand that dynamic why it was such a big deal and then was it a spoon or was it just a an arm over or how close i mean please talk about semantics and trying to get into where how close they were and what ah oh, that is really pathetic um yeah and rebecca bloody stirred it i bet she got a thrill out of telling rebecca um shanice that and shanice i don't even know why shanice rises to the bait why couldn't she just let it go say oh i'm not interested that happened before you that happened before me and him yeah why couldn't she just say that she rises to bed oh luke can you have a talk with the three of us i mean it's like some big bloody debate like they're going to bloody court just because he put his arm around her i mean really and truly they really need to get alive if that's what life is going to be like with shanice he's gonna chip it mate he's gonna chip and it wouldn't surprise me if when are those six ones those six girls come into the villa he's going to chip with one of them and i won't blame him i will not say a bad word about him whoever takes on luke t has to be nice and gentle and you know <laughs> what else is there oh yeah Big up Luke M for standing up to bloody Jess. He ain't no little um, weakling, is he? I mean, she goes and snogs Mike right in front of him. And it won't even know little, little snog. It's some big lung team. And the man you're cu coupled up with is standing right there. No, I give props to Luke M. Whichever girl gets him, they'll be bloody lucky. He's really a nice bloke. Not only is he good looking, he's quite um he's assertive he's he knows what he's confident and um he's respectful and he's basically a nice bloke so it won't be long before somebody takes him off and you know what will happen he's going to get a really nice girl i don't know if any i don't know if jess is going to get anybody else i mean she was bloody lucky she got bloody luke shouldn't really say that it sounds a bit awful but i mean <sighs> what else is there so now mike and jess are supposed to be an item and did you notice <laughs> i don't know if it's just me but did you notice that when she told mike that her and luke were done did you see mike lost interest and she had to say to him, oh, you know, how how come you've changed? How come you're not so confident now? He's talking about, oh, that's the way you make me feel. He liked the competition. Now he's won the competition. He's not interested. Duh. Honestly. And she didn't even pick it up. And then he obviously felt as though he had to kiss her. She's there bloody longing out her bloody neck, waiting for the kiss. That weren't a sincere kiss. That weren't a kiss that tells you that he's into Jess. She had to wait. As soon as she told him that me and Luke Emma are not in a couple, he would he should have put his arm around her and all of that stuff. She almost had to beg him for a bloody kiss. And they're laughing. Oh, oh, I'm so glad I'm not young. 
honestly. Let me see now. Luke T seemed a bit peed off with Sean. I said that. Girl seemed so possessive. Yeah. I can't understand how Mike got to stay. The men obviously had a sway over that. I don't understand how he got to sway. And Sophie's gone. Well, I think Sophie, she's lost her mojo, hasn't she? Now Connor's not there. But what a shame. She's gone before these six guys come in. I'm sure she would have liked one of them. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. It's not all fair in love and war. And it's definitely not fair on Love Island. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.